Ronaldo's provided us with some of the most iconic goals in history. So today, I'm going to attempt to recreate them by scoring one iconic Ronaldo goal from every year going all the way back to 2004, which was arguably his first iconic goal, his header versus Millwall in the FA Cup final. The right back basically runs into the box, dinks one in, and Ronaldo... Oh my god! He just scored a bicycle kick on his first attempt. And unlike our first attempt, our second attempt would actually be a header. Ronaldo header it! Oh, that's that's not bad. But I wasn't satisfied with that attempt, so I give it another go. Ronaldo's running in, please! No! I can't do it! But never say never. This is Ronaldo we're talking about. Ronaldo! Let's go! That might be the one. Now that first goal was kind of easy, but from now on I'm only going to have 5 attempts to recreate each goal. Every time I fail, I get 1 fail point, and the more fail points I get, the worse the forfeits will get. With that said, let's move on to 2005, which brought us Ronaldo's iconic goal versus Bolton Wanderers. And it's fair to say this goal was pretty impressive. Can we recreate it in 5 attempts? Let's find out. And it's fair to say our first attempt was pretty decent. Bottom left! Oh! That's attempt number one, and that was pretty good. This goal was better than I thought. Look, we makes him do a little step over fake, fake. I might have to take that. I'm going to attempt one more version to try and get the step overs correct. And then this happened. Ronaldo! That's the one. That is the one I'm taking at. It may not have been as good as our first attempt, but it was a lot more like the real goal. So for that reason, we're taking it and moving on to 2006, which was Ronaldo's iconic goal versus Portsmouth. And this goal isn't the one he's known for, so stay tuned for that. It drops to Ronaldo, he takes the touch. Where the hell did that just go? Ronaldo touches it down, takes it in. On his left. Oh, that's a great goal. That is a great goal. However, after a swift VAR review, the goal can't count as it was in the wrong corner. So Ronaldo rectified his mistakes and did this. He scores. Let's go. I'm taking that one. And with that goal completed, it was time for 2007. Blue scored a few bangers in 2007, but one of them stood out right at the very end against Everton. This goal, pff, naughty. Oh my god. Does a faint. Buries it. Oh my god, that would have been it. Faints him. Top it. Oh, Pickford just get lost. And on our third attempt, Ronaldo did this. Please. Yes! Come on! That's the goal. It's taken us three attempts. We've absolutely smashed out the water, but that is the goal. And if you thought that goal was good, this next goal is even better. Because in 2008, Ronaldo scored his famous free kick against Portsmouth. Here we go. Free kick attempt number one. And Ronaldo would make the keeper work on our first attempt. Oh my god. This position is a lot more like the original. Can Ronaldo score it? And our second attempt sucked. Our second attempt may have been a flop, but our third attempt... Uh, never mind. Oh no. We almost did the perfect recreation, but Ronaldo simply likes wood too much. Coming so close previously, I knew a little less power would do the job. Please. Yeah! <laughs> Let's go! Oh There's a reason why they call him Clutch now, though, and that is the reason. Now, if you thought that free kick was good, this next goal is insane. Because in 2009, Ronaldo scored an outrageous long shot against Porto in the Champions League. This goal had no right to be this good. And our first attempt was an absolute stinker. Whereas our second attempt had more promise, but not enough execution. Attempt number three was our best yet. Ronaldo, go in. Oh, that was better. Same with attempt number four, but the keeper was unstoppable. Oh my God, that was it. But on our last attempt, this happened. Gets the ball, he shoots. Oh my God, no.
The keeper was simply too good. And that meant we had failed to recreate Ronaldo's iconic 2009 goal. Just like that, I've got my first fail and my first fail point. And that fail point is our first forfeit, which is a light one. It's a 2,800 FC point giveaway. All you have to do is make sure you're subscribed and comment down below your favorite Ronaldo goal in this video. So let's find out if I fail in 2010, which is Ronaldo's iconic goal versus Almeria. And we become super close on our first attempt. No! And on our second attempt, Ronaldo did this. Oh! oh my god, that was good. But although the second attempt was great, I wanted to make it even better. But something bad happened to Ronaldo and he couldn't play on. Look, Ronaldo got injured in the process, so I can't even continue with him. So for that reason, we're taking that goal. RIP 2010 Ronaldo. Let's move on to 2011, which brought us Ronaldo's iconic free kick versus Denmark. This free kick is disgraceful. Here we go. Ronaldo free kick versus Denmark. Can he do it? Can he recreate attempt number one? It's not a bad first attempt. A bit more power. And we might be able to get that. Come on, Ronnie. I believe in you. Boom. Terrible. Oh, this is good power. Very good power. Oh, no. Oh, my God. The power was there. This is it. I feel it. I actually feel it. I need the right power. I don't know if that's it. Please. Oh, let's go. Let's go. The clutch king. It's fair to say we'd absolutely smashed it out the water with our fourth attempt, meaning we can move on to 2012. Which top left. Oh, my God. Top left. Oh my god, no! This keeper's on steroids. What the hell was that? But no steroids would be enough to stop the GOAT from scoring. Yes! Come on! Suck on that keeper! And once again, we had smashed it out of the park. Can we keep up the form of the next iconic goal? Which was Ronaldo's iconic goal to finish off his hat trick against Galatasaray in the Champions League. And Ronaldo would actually come super close on his first attempt. Oh... That was actually a really good attempt. And the same with his second attempt. Oh, no, it's not good enough. It's not good enough. I can't take it. Our third attempt would flop. No! But our fourth attempt would be the closest yet. Oh, my God. I would have taken that. With one chance remaining, could the Clutch King do it? Oh, my God. I missed. No way! Come so close, but fail once again to score another iconic goal. And that's another fail, which is another fail point, and our next forfeit. And our next forfeit was the world's strongest smelling salts. These are no joke. Smelling salt time. I don't know how forfeit number two smelling salts, and it's, they only get worse from here. Let's just do it. <laughs> ah! Oh, that was a big inhale. Oh my god. And if you thought that forfeit was bad, the forfeits coming up gets so much worse. So do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. The more of you guys that subscribe, the bigger the forfeits will get in future videos. And with that said, let's move on to the next iconic goal, which was 2014 Ronaldo's iconic back flick versus Valencia. I, this is going to be so hard to do. And on our first attempt, Ronaldo did this. Ronnie. Ronnie! <laughs> Ronaldo! Listen, the flick was the flick. We got the flick. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. That goal might have been good, but this next goal is even better. Because in 2015, Ronaldo scored this goal versus Armenia. And I know you're probably wondering why it's against Norway. Well, that's because we needed a team with a red kit and Armenia aren't on the game. Takes a touch, brings it down and shoots. Oh, takes a touch, brings it down. Boom. Oh my god, what a goal. But although that was good, it wasn't perfect. So I had another go and this happened. Shoot! Oh! <laughs> Cristiano Ronaldo! Is that good enough? And if that wasn't good enough, then I don't know what is. With that said, let's move on to 2016 in which Ronaldo scored this against Espanyol. And our first attempt was almost perfect. We just couldn't score. Oh my god, that was actually pretty decent. But then Ronaldo did this. Please! Oh my god, he's so good! 
the only problem is I did a ball roll. But, I mean, everything else was perfect apart from the ball roll. So, you can't alter the past, but you can change the future. Moving on to 2017 is Ronaldo's iconic goal versus Barcelona, where he took off his shirt and did the flex. This goal is so iconic, it has to be included. And on the first attempt, Ronaldo would do this. Ronaldo. Oh my god, that would have been it. And our second attempt would be super close too. Ronaldo! Oh my god, so close. But on the third attempt, something felt different. It's Ronaldo! Oh my! Well, so I thought. But then finally on our fourth attempt, we would score. Ronaldo! Oh, the goal's not as good. The goal's not as good. So for that reason, we couldn't take it, which left us with one last chance. Please! Oh my god, no way! That was it! We came so close. So close to doing the iconic El Clasico. It's another fail, another fail point, And that moves us on to our next forfeit. I'm going to have to do the Sue in public. It was time to embarrass myself and Sue in public. <laughs> we may have failed to recreate that iconic goal, but there's many more coming up. And the next one is 2018. Possibly one of Ronaldo's most iconic goals. His bicycle kick in the Champions League quarterfinals. And our first attempt was an incredible goal, but not the right angle. So we had another go, and this happened. Ronaldo, please! Oh, that might be better. But I wasn't sure if it was good enough. So I asked you guys over on my Instagram to decide. All right, I've asked you guys on my Instagram to decide. If you're not following me, make sure to follow me. But we'll see what you say at the end of this video. Moving on to 2019, we have Ronaldo's header versus Sampdoria. This is possibly the best ever header in mankind. Ronaldo redefined gravity with this header. I don't know how he stayed in the air for this long. Get on Ronaldo's head. Oh, he didn't do the jump, but that was it. That was the, the right cross, but he didn't do the jump. But on our second attempt, Ronaldo would jump a bit higher. Ronaldo, oh, that was a good jump. That was actually a very good jump. He kind of did it in the motion as well. But after a quick VAR check, it was ruled not high enough. So we had to have another go. Jump high. Oh, oh, that was a high jump. That was definitely a high jump. Oh, Ronaldo got some height on that. But I still wasn't satisfied with that goal, so I had another try. And if the last attempt wasn't good enough, this would be. Ronaldo jumps, he scores! And moving on to 2020, which was Ronaldo's goal versus Olympic Leon. This goal was actually insane. So he kind of gets past the player and then just shoots top left from here. Okay, the first attempt may have been a flop, but the second attempt most definitely wasn't. Oh, let's go. Two attempts is all it took Ronaldo. We have actually smashed this out of the park. Moving on to 2021 was Ronaldo's return to Man United with this iconic goal versus Tottenham. And on the first attempt, Ronaldo would score a beauty. Oh, if Ronaldo was just a bit further down, that would have been perfect. But our second attempt was almost perfect. Ronaldo. No, volley it, volley it. That's good. Ah, oh, Ronnie. Same with our third attempt. It just went in the wrong side of the goal. Oh, my God. But practice makes perfect. And on the fourth attempt, this happened. Oh, that's better. That's better. That is way better. I like that one. We smashed that one out the water, so let's move on to 2022, which once again was a Ronaldo goal against Tottenham. I think it's clear Ronaldo doesn't like Tottenham because this long shot was absolutely disgraceful. And our first attempt wasn't the best, but then Ronaldo would do this. Boom! Oh! <laughs> However, the shot was too close to goal, so we can't count it. Ronnie would then do this. Please. Oh, no! And once again, we would hit the woodwork. Ronaldo just loves wood too much. We then had one last chance to clutch this up. Boom! I can't get it. I failed another one. That's another fail point. 
And the next forfeit is 6,000 FC points. Make sure to comment down below your favorite goal. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll be picking a winner at random. But we still might have to do another forfeit, which you guys are deciding on Instagram. But we'll find that out after this last goal, which is 2023. Ronaldo's chip for Al Nazem. It's an incredible chip. I don't even know how I'm going to do this. So this might be another forfeit. Our first attempt would flop miserably. <laughs> Ronaldo! No, it's not it. It's got to go high. It's got to go up. And up it went with attempt number three. Maybe a bit too high as we missed. Height! Height! That's good height. That might be it. That might be it. But after a VAR review, it was nowhere near the height we needed for this goal. So we tried again and again. But it was simply impossible to get the same height. I've tried it a few times now. The game doesn't allow us to chip the ball that high, so I'm going to have to take the one we scored, as it was the closest attempt we could physically do. It's now time to find out whether or not I'm going to have to do another forfeit. Let's go! You guys have voted yes. I get to keep the Ronaldo goal. The recreation was good enough. Therefore, I don't have to do another forfeit. And with that said, if you enjoyed this video, then you're going to enjoy whichever one YouTube is suggesting to you, because they know. So go watch it.